at the year of 2050, we are estimating that, that uh, the global food demand is going to increase by about 70% or anywhere between 50% to 100%. And this is the data according to the Food and Agriculture Organization. And at the same time, our food system is also facing uh, with severe challenge about uh, climate change and the land scarcity. And on top of that, we are also facing a challenge of malnutrition and at the same time, uh, overnutrition and uh, obesity as well. So uh, actually, I think that the challenge for us is really about how do we produce enough food, but also at a sustainable and healthy way going forward. So currently, we are happy to see that there are a few uh, emerging innovation uh, solutions that are uh, coming up from the region. Uh, for example, using uh, advanced technologies like AI technologies along the supply chain to help optim uh, optimize the system and uh, to reduce food loss and waste. And uh, also uh, some innovations uh, that is looking into new sources of uh, uh, proteins and uh, uh, also even like lab-grown meat uh, to help uh, provide alternative sources of protein. The key for us is really to see how do we bring the right solutions to the right place. So with that, I think that I want to remain positive that we can still meet the challenge ahead. As for FIA, I think there are two parts uh, that we're helping uh, with our industry partners and our stakeholders. So firstly, uh, we work with external experts uh, to generate thought leadership and uh, research pieces to help us to understand what is the landscape of innovation and what is the future outlook of our demand and consumption and how do we bring in uh, the right solutions to meet the demand and at the same time understanding our consumers' perception to the innovation. And uh, on the other hand, uh, it's also about how do we work uh, with our stakeholders in terms of stakeholder engagement and also our advocacy work on what are the things that uh, we need to um, change ourselves uh, in order for us to meet such challenges. For example, how do we build a better regulatory system uh, for innovation that are uh, already happening? And how do we facilitate the business uh, by working together with the government regulators and also how do we engage consumers as well?